Hey what's up everyone, Saints fan here and welcome to another GTA 5 video. Today we're going to be talking about a few things that you may not know about this little small DLC that came out. And some of this stuff is actually pretty good to know. So if you do enjoy the video, I'd appreciate if you guys could drop a like. It helps me out a lot and obviously it shows your support. So the first thing and, and honestly probably the most important thing out of this entire uh, video, the contender actually has bulletproof windows or well, a window. It's really odd. I don't I don't know if this was intentional or not, but the contender, the new truck, the front window is actually bulletproof. It, well, it's as bulletproof as all the other bulletproof vehicles. I think you can see in the gameplay, I, it takes like 16 or 17 shots to actually like penetrate it. On the side, it, those aren't those windows aren't bulletproof, so if you get shot from the side, then uh, you kind of screwed. But if you're in the contender and you're in a firefight or something, Make sure you're facing, like, make sure the front of your car is facing the guy that's shooting at you because you're less likely to die if that's the case. Again, I'm not entirely sure why this is a thing because, like, the other two vehicles, the Dune and the Sprunk Buffalo, they don't have this feature, so I'm not entirely sure why Rockstar put that on the contender. But, hey, that's just another cool little feature for that car. I guess speaking of cool little features for the cars, the stock color rims. If you guys were wondering if you could change these stock rims for the brand new cars, well, you can for one, but you can't for the other. I, I'm not entirely sure why, but the new contender, even though the rims aren't chrome, you can't change them. At least it didn't work for me. I, I tried changing them from black, obviously, to, I think, white, and they just remained black. So it kind of sucks there because the rims are honestly my, one of my favorite features about the car, and... The fact that we can't really change the color kind of sucks. However, you can change the color on the stock or the Sprunk Buffalo. Again, if you don't know how to do that glitch, all you have to do is use the iFruit app. Basically, you go in with the Sprunk Buffalo into the LSC. You pick any set of rims, doesn't matter which one, and then you change the color to the color you want. Then you back out, go into your iFruit app. Find the car, find the Sprunk Buffalo, and then just set it back to stock rims. Then you get the little message in your game saying, hey, go into LSC to, you know, approve of your order or to complete your order. You go in there and then bam, now you have stock rims with whatever color you chose. So I guess that gives you a little bit more customization for the Sprunk Buffalo. Again, I, it just sucks that it doesn't work on the contender. I guess you're given the bulletproof window so you, you don't get uh, colored stock rims on it. And then these last two things, these actually have to do with the Dune. So, the Dune is, I don't know, I guess you could argue, but to me, it is the most useless thing that's ever been added to the game. And I'm, I'm not saying I'd like to hate on Rockstar or anything, that's just what it is. Because for $1.3 million, you get something that you can only call as a Pegasus vehicle. The back doesn't open like many people thought, you know, it would. And the handling's kind of weird on it. Like, it's really light, which is odd for, you know, how big of a car it is. But the, the best part about it is that people were like, okay, well, if you're going to spend $1.3 million, maybe you're spending that money so you can use it in races. Not that you would kind of want to because... Even though it's a service vehicle, it gets put in the off-road category for races. And if you guys are aware, if you race in the off-road category, you can use bikes with that. So there's literally no reason to even use this because you would get smoked. However, the funny part is you don't need to spend the $1.3 million to use it in the race. Because since you can't upgrade it, the stock version, which you can use in any off-road race is the same as the Pegasus version. So I guess unless you maybe wanted to race with a different livery, then I, I it's just, I don't see a point of purchasing that vehicle. And again, I'm not trying to hate on Rockstar. It's just, it's just funny how they, they added it and there's just no real reason for it to be in the game, at least for it to be a Pegasus vehicle. And I, I kind of understand because this actually goes with my next point. There's a glitch going around and, um, you actually, you probably, if you saw my live stream, I, it actually happened to me. Like, the, the Pegasus vehicle, the, the Dune, actually might show up in your garage. It's not blacklisted, which is kind of odd because most r Pegasus vehicles are blacklisted. And blacklisted just means you can't bring them into your garage or you can't store them in your garage. But this one's not. And 
you can store this one in your garage. Although you can't bring it to like LSC or anything. But yeah, I, I actually on the PS4, I have it in my garage. I can call my mechanic to have him deliver it to me. But going back to the point uh, about how I don't think it should be a Pegasus vehicle, I, I understand why they made it a Pegasus vehicle, just because it literally doesn't fit in your garage. Like, it's too big of a car. That's why we need a bigger garage, Rockstar. But no, I, it's just it's just funny how they added it. And if anyone can explain, like, or give me a reason why it's in the game, it's not bad. I mean, if you have, a, you know, infinite money, you might as well buy it because, you know, for what it is in free mode, it's a pretty fine little drive. It doesn't really do much. Like, it can't run stuff over. I think it has bulletproof tires, so you're good there. But it's it's relatively fast for a Pegasus vehicle. Uh, again, I think it's actually the fastest in the service category now. But compared to or in races with other off-road vehicles, you're not going to stand a chance, especially going against motorcycles or dirt bikes. Two quick things that I actually forgot to mention uh, in the video. So, one, on the dune, the front lights actually work, which I know is... Like, you would think that that should work normally, but we all know Rockstar, half the time those front lights never do work, and they're really bright. Like, if you put the bright lights on, it gets significantly brighter, and you can see a lot more. So I figured I'd let you guys know about that as well. Uh, if you also wanted sort of a size comparison between the new truck that just came in, the Contender, and the Sand King, and the Sand King XL, here's a picture of that. Surprisingly, man, it's pretty small compared to them, but... Yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know about those two things as well as the other things that I mentioned in the video. Anyway, that is it with the video. Those were the few things that you may not have known and uh, hopefully that helps you out. I got a couple more videos coming out later today and go follow me on Twitter because I'm, I announced the shark card giveaway so you guys can go enter to win if you want some money. Anyway, let me know what you think of all this stuff in the comments. See you in the next one. As always, this is your boy Saints Phantom out. Peace.